is the anterior chest wall over the area of the heart. That's the precordial. So it's more to the left, is it not so? And a little to the right. So you inspect for precordial activity. Most of our patients we know how. Then after that you palpate. Palpation, you do it by placing your hand over the anterior chest wall, the precordial area where you expect to find the heart. Are you following? You place it over what? The precordial area. Then you feel for the heart beat. Then you locate the apex beat. After locating it, you come to count to know the particular spot. First of all, you come to the suprasternal notch. You run your finger along the sternum until you locate the sternal angle. You trace it to the side. That will be what? The second rib. Second rib is attached to the sternal angle. Then below it, you have the second intercostal space. Then you begin to jump ribs and cant. That is second, this will be third, and this will be fourth, and this is a fifth. Then you now trace down to this, to the point where you felt it, along the intercostal space, you trace down there, and then you trace upward toward the clavicle to know the part of the clavicle it is. Usually, you find it in the fourth or fifth intercostal space in the mid clavicular line. So, that is what you do. Like I told you, and this is a secret, most of the patients in surgery do not have heart issues. So, if you put your hand there and you are not appreciating things, rather than waste your time, you just locate what we know is normal for everybody and you quickly count it. Do you understand? You trace it down just around the nipple. That's where fourth or fifth intercostal space is. Is it not so? You quickly do that and move on. Then after that, do we have percussion for the heart? Do we percuss for the heart? No. You go straight to auscultation. So you start your auscultation from the apex bit you located to auscultate for what? The mitra var. Then, in the lower sternal border, you auscultate for the tricuspid var. Then you locate the sternal angle, trace it to the left. The inter second intercostal space, you auscultate for the pulmonary var. Then you trace from the sternal angle to the right. In the second intercostal space on the right, you are scotted for the aortic valve. After all that, the examination of the heart is completed. To complete cardiovascular examination, you tell patients sit up and you are scotted the base of the heart, sorry, of the lungs. The base of the lungs on both sides for fine basal crepes which you can find in pulmonary edema that can occur with heart failure. Is it clear? After that cardiovascular examination is complete and you tell your patient thank you. You have done well. Thank you so much. Clap for him.